Hey guys, Pastor Graves here. And I just want to take a few minutes to kind of talk about what a Christian really is and what it means to be a Christian. I mean, think about it. Am I a Christian just because I'm non-Muslim? Am I a Christian because I attend church? I attend a Christian church? Am I a Christian because I'm non-Catholic? Am I a Christian because, you know, I, I, I know a few Bible verses or a pastor? Does that make me a, a Christian? Am I a Christian because I, I checked it off somewhere when it said religion? Am I a Christian because I profess to be one? You know, a philosopher back in the day wrote this, and I kind of agree with this. He said, Christianity is a form of religion practiced by millions, but it's as, it's as misunderstood and unreal to the majority as gravitation is to an untutored savage. We profess to live in the atmosphere of Christianity, yet we act as barbarians as if we never knew Christ. Christ taught us to love, yet we hate. He taught us to forgive, yet we revenge. He taught us to be merciful, yet we condemn and punish, and we still call ourselves Christians. Now, if we were to really be reminded of what the word Christian is, or what the word Christian means, or what Christianity really is, it means to be Christ-like. So, if I'm not being Christ-like, can I in fact say that I'm a Christian. I may have accepted Jesus Christ as my personal savior and 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 we ought we ought to move from from just being born again to discipleship. Jesus says that his disciples, this is what Jesus is talking about. This is not any other philosopher, this is Christ himself. We proclaim to be Christian, so so we should probably pay attention to this. He said that folks will know you because of your love for one another. He said, Christ will know you for this reason, how you love one another. Love each other like I have loved you. That's what Christ says. And so I started thinking about this love that, that Christ had for me, and he still has for me. Am I loving other people the way he loves me? Or do I spend time judging? Do I spend time condemning? Do I spend time ignoring what makes them hurt or, or ignoring what bothers them just because it doesn't bother me, you know, and in and, and doing so, am I, am I really being Christ-like? Am I taking the time to understand those who are hurting? Am I, am I taking time to understand believers and non-believers? So I guess we could say that being a Christian is not about saying it. It's not what I say but it's actually shown in what I do. Christ healed Peter's mother-in-law. Bible scholars, you know that. But I don't read anywhere in the text that he asked her um, if she, um, what, what her political affiliation was. Jesus healed blind Bartimaeus. And I don't read anywhere in the scripture if he asked him if he was a homosexual first. Um, Christ raised um, the widow's son from the dead without, without asking her any other prequalifications in order for him to do so. When Jesus met the woman at the well, he didn't, he didn't condemn her for having five husbands. He let her know, so he, he, you know, he, didn't have a, he didn't have a problem with her having five husbands, but he still interacted and cared and still offered her the plan of salvation. And I, I just think sometimes, man, we just get so caught up in the rules and regulation of religion, of Christianity as a religion, and not Christianity as a way of life. And I, and I, I had to do some soul searching, you know, um, for me. Am I, am I treating people like Christ treats people? Do, do I care for people when something's bothering them, even when it's not bothering me. You know, we used to wear those wristbands all the time, you know. What would Jesus do, you know? We wore them and not really knowing the, the personality, the attributes, the characteristics of this beautiful Christ whom we serve. A lot of hate in the world, a lot of hate in the world, um, but there is no hate in this relationship with Jesus Christ. And as you grow closer to him, he removes hate from your heart, it moves anger from your heart. I choose 
to make you feel the love of Jesus Christ. And to me, and hopefully to you guys, that's what you understand. That's what being a Christian is all about. We have differences, but we ought to be able to sit down and talk about them. We ought to be able to, to, to sit down and care for one another. Something's bothering my brother. I should find out how, how I can help sisters. If something is bothering another sister, you ought to find out how you can help. Not just pray for them, but actually get your hands dirty and help them. But I just kind of wanted to talk to you about what being a Christian really is. Not just saying it, not church affiliation, but really honestly living it out like Christ would. Study the life of Christ. Do things like Christ would do them. And let God work through you and let God be pleased with you. we got a lot of work to do, but we can do it together. Thanks for checking out the video. God bless.